All right, for the calf portion of that quads workout, I just want to make sure that your range is looking okay. Um, again, it's just too heavy. Everyone just tries to stay mid-range, um, bouncing with a lot of muscles that are around the ankle or around your foot. So all I want to do is make sure you're thinking about the right things there. Um, big one for you is trying to make sure that as long as you're pushing off, you're contracting your quad, your goal is trying to think about pushing your ankle forward, really trying to drive it towards the wall, rather than just think about lifting up, okay? So as long as you really keep that line, you're not feeling like you're flaring in or out, I just want to make sure you're contracting that first and really think about pulling your, your ankle forward, really dragging it up. The biggest one for you is trying to make sure, and hence why I've put uh, the tempo the way it is, is trying to make sure the point, top of the range, you're really trying to contract and shorten that muscle as much as possible, uh, and hold that contraction for a couple of seconds. This weight isn't going to be heavy and you probably end up just doing body weight to make sure that feels good, uh, or at least you can get there. So just really focus on trying to push that ankle forward, really squeeze that top and make sure there's nothing else doing the work. Hip stays locked over, nothing else moves. Uh, exactly the same with your seated leg curl and feel free to adjust the two between uh, each, uh, each week, but just trying to make sure you engage that first and you drive that through.